Welcome back, everybody. Um, an email came in not too long ago from a subscriber asking, how the heck do you drill stainless? <laughs> um, first time I did it, I was surprised it's not really that difficult. Um, I used just a standard twist drill, jobber. Um, you do have to push pretty hard to get it to start, but once it starts cutting, then it's fine. But uh, playing around on Banggood, I stumbled across these tri-point or something drill bits, which you'll see. Um, they're pretty cool. So I'll put a link in the description to them. There were three different sets, a small, medium, and a large set. $9 for the middle set, 16 pieces. These are pretty cool drill bits. I'm impressed with them. So I'm really glad I brought, uh, bought them. <laughs> So, and I hope you enjoy the video and see you next time. Thought this would be really interesting to play with from Banggood. Plastic bag got a little munch, but boy, is this, took, this took way over a month to get. I was wondering if I was ever going to get it. How do you open it? There. Drill bits made specifically for stainless steel. Wow, pretty nice little box, huh? Huh. Pretty cute. Why it's in a box like that, I don't know, but yeah, it's nice. What, how do you open it? There's a pin or something in here, huh? Yeah. One flap, one pin. Okay, it's always a challenge to figure out what goes on. Yeah, it's pins all the way in. You got it completely rip it out I can see it going through the plastic am I doing this right these are the hinges yeah these are the hinges <laughs> you really got to pull it out huh all right let's reach up here get some needle nose <laughs> why you would want to package it like this I don't know there Wow, that's crazy. Okay, now I just have a single flap, right? Yep, there it is, right? Oh, oh. Interesting way it opens, I'll tell you that. These are supposedly, I don't know if you can see it, triple points. It's like there's a point and a ledge and then another ledge. I can't see, oh, and they're really oiled up too. Get rid of that. Glad I had a paper towel over here. Try to pull one of the big ones out and then I can bring it up so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Are they? Yeah, there it is. Just now saw it in the light. I have no idea how to make you guys look or see it. <laughs> Angling around or whatever, but let's go over to uh, ooh, split point cut. Wow, this should be really interesting. Yeah, the web is teeny on this guy. So I can see this doing a lot of different material real easy, all metric. So let's go over to the mill. Well, this is the six and a half millimeter drill bit. I don't have any flat stainless. I don't think I've ever had any. So this is the only stainless steel that I have. It's going to be interesting to see what this does, huh? Whoops, pulling that out. All right. Pretty low RPM, I guess. Doesn't walk. And it goes right in there. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, these are nice drill bits, guys. I don't want to go all the way in and ruin this uh, piece of material, but that went in easy. I didn't even have to really push hard on it to get it to start cutting. Jeez. Nice chips, too. So I'll uh, leave a link in the description to them. They're really pretty cheap. Um, work good on stainless, I'm sure. I'll probably, I'm going to try this on some other material off camera just to see what it does. Figured why try it off camera? <laughs> Just do it on camera. Piece of scrap aluminum here. Yeah, where to drill? Oh, come away over here. 
That way, like, leave a good square chunk. This is gonna be interesting. That stainless piece, too, was at an angle. It wasn't really straight. So the bit didn't want to walk or anything. This should be a piece of cake, I'm sure, huh? Bit's not even wobbling. Oh, yeah, geez, and goes right in. Very easy. Oof. Strange looking hole though with the three shelves to it. Is it taking them off of both flutes? Yep, there's chips on both cutting edges. Tells me this is well made. So I don't know how I can show really what this tip looks like, but you'll I guess you'll see a picture of it on the Banggood website you know, if you click on the link. So pretty cool. I'm glad I got it. Very inexpensive and very nice.